got my tarpon spotters out looking for the fish. Where are they at? Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful here on the Atlantic side. Bam! And we are out looking for some big boy tarpon. I'm actually prepared today. For the first time I've got everything rigged up how I want them. So we're good there. Uh, I'm gonna make a run along this edge here. I've seen about three uh, flats boats working that big money key over there, the channel on that side. So I might hit that a little bit later, but today I'm gonna run the edge here, see what's out and about. I wanna wrap around, see if there's any uh, bigger baits like the uh, mullet or uh, big pilchards because I've got a, a live bait rod with me today. And then we'll head on down the keys a ways, take a look in the channels and those uh, kind of sand spots, see if there's anything uh, laid up there and then maybe run over to the islands where those flats guys are and see what they're looking at. But that's kind of our plan. Because we're at a higher tide, I want to work the inside uh, flats areas as well because uh, those fish can get up there fairly easily. So I'm kind of up one channel, cross, go down another channel, across, and just kind of zigzag my way over. Well, that could be a problem. School right there. Uh, going across. Oh. oh. Weeds. Dang it. Those are some nice smaller ones. That's what I'd want. Ah. Uh. They're going somewhere. Uh, there they go. And that's what we're looking for. They'll probably be hanging up back and forth here, so I might just wait them out. All these weeds. I see a school moving across there. Uh, gotta try to head them off. Uh, they're going from left to right. You can see there's a, uh, a strip of dark and then a, a light sandbar and then a dark on the outside in front of the first brown spot. Uh, they're running up there. Uh, where'd they go? Oh, they're still there. Uh, they're right in the middle of the brown. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, God, come on. Oh, I'm gonna miss them. Dang it. There they are over there. Anybody interested? You can see them now. See, they're turning away from it. Those are the fish that we're looking for. Right over there, going back in there. That's kind of the edge we're gonna be working. I didn't expect them to be on this one, but I can still see them in the dark there. So we're gonna go up to the edge here, drop anchor. That way I can catch fish coming from the Gulf side through the bridge and then also fish running along the edge of the flats here and along this sandbar all right i went and dropped anchor here just along this edge it goes follows around that way sandbar and then it starts dumping out into the uh edge of the flats here and we're just going to look for fish running this edge or that edge all right i see a school running across the flats there These are nice smaller ones, that's good. Oh!
They weren't interested in that. Oh, I was way behind them. There they go. They're bigger than I thought. This one's like, I'm gonna check out. Yeah, they were bigger than I thought. Oh, he got it. Oh. He hit it. What they think is that they just scared out the fish so they would go real aggressive on them and not gonna reach them. Ah, oh, he came back at it, dang it. So as they're going through the schools like that, you throw it right on them. <laughs> Their instinct is just grab it because they figure they ran up on the fish. It's got spooked, so it's like, raw, grab it. See what they do they're heading back over there huh came from the uh from the west they're running right down that edge all right it's been about an hour and a half two hours i've only seen the three schools um i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to run the line and just follow this line straight through to uh the money key down there and then uh, hit the channel that runs th right through the seven mile bridge and check that edge see if there's anything around there uh yeah just gonna keep on the move stick and move all right we made it over to big money key here i think that's big money and that one's little money but uh there's a nice deep channel that runs along there good clean edge where it's all flats here so uh, i'm gonna work that edge and see what's around a couple of flats boats out here I don't know if they're going for bonefish, I think, and I think bonefish and I think uh, tarpon. But we're gonna get to the edge and then work it as it wraps around there. Tide is dropping, so it'll have more of a distinct edge. I saw some rolling over there. Actually seeing the fins come up. They at. Oh, right there. Get ahead of them here. That's what we want. Just don't spook them. I can see a line of them there. Right there. Here they come right at me. Oh, nothing. That's a big old mass of squat. I can't even see where my bait is. Oh, it's following it. Look at all of them. Oh, that's one way to do it. Or at least not to do it. Where'd they go? There goes the school right there.
one right there circling me. Well, unfortunately the fan turned on and that pretty much shut things down. So called it a early day, already loaded up. Look at all the pilchards or glass minnows. I think it's actually a mixture. Man, just one net full, bam, and I'd be set. But no cooler, oh well. But had a decent day today. Uh, I think I saw four schools and a single. Uh, so that was good. Got a couple of uh, biters on there. Uh, I definitely would have been better off. I think four out of the five I would have been better off using the uh, fly rod. I'm just not cycled into that yet where that's my go-to. Since I'm on the run and gun, I kind of have that spinning rod is quicker and easier, but for whatever reason, they were coming right up to me. So the fly rod would have definitely been better, but that's okay. As long as I keep getting my shots, uh, eventually I'll get those hookups. I had a couple of them follow up and grab at it, so they're eating. But uh, anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye. Ooh, look at all the bait. I bet you the juvenile tarpon are on here at nighttime.